Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here for today's video. I am going to be downloading, showing how to download and uh, make graphics using the Paleo Hebrew font. I'm gonna be kind of repeating a little bit of info. I did a video before on how to download Paleo Hebrew uh, to your computer. So it's gonna be a bit of repetition there because that's gonna be uh, the first stage of the process. Um, and then I'm just gonna show how you can use that font in a graphic design program. Now I'm using Linux as my operating system. So I'm gonna be using a, a graphic design program called GIMP. If you're on Windows, uh, just follow along this process, but slightly different steps, downloading a TTF, which is true type font. And then you can use GIMP on Windows or if you're using Photoshop, it should be in your font options. So just ignore the Linux specific stuff if you're on Windows or Mac for that matter. Paleo Hebrew, just for a quick intro, it's fascinating. It's um, a form of Hebrew that predominated until a certain point in time in ancient Israel. We're talking about in literally the times of the Bible. Um, and at some point it was replaced by the familiar block lettering script we're used to today called Ketav Ashurit. Paleo Hebrew doesn't, re doesn't refer to one script but it refers to a series of alphabets it went through kind of an evolution there's lots of information about this online including the paleo hebrew that was extant at different historical periods paleo hebrew called in hebrew katav ivri um, isn't used anymore in modern israel or in the jewish world for that matter i wouldn't say i'm trying to bring it back <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me that was a laugh that sort of ended up with me almost choking um i wouldn't say i'm trying to bring it back that was supposed to be a joke but i do take interest in it and i think a lot of people are also interested in, in it it's very much bridges the connection between the ancient ancient uh, civilization that existed in this part of the world in israel and the state of israel today so intros aside first thing you want to do is download the font so i plugged into my search engine paleo hebrew TTF and I found a bunch of different paleo fonts. I'm just going to go with the first one here, Paleo Hebrew. I'm going to get a little zip file download to my computer. This is from a website called BiblePlaces.com. So thank you, Bible Places. You can also download it from HebrewFont.net if you prefer. They've got a few paleo fonts as well. So let me just pause the video here while I unzip uh, the download and install the font onto my computer. All right, so I've gone ahead there and unzipped the uh, zip file. And as you can see, I got a single file called paleohebrew.ttf. As I've already said a couple of times, TTF stands for true type font. It's a very common font format. And now I'm going to open up my font management program in Ubuntu Linux, and I'm going to install it into my operating system. Okay, so this is a nice little utility called font manager that exists for people like me crazy enough to use Linux day to day. As you can see, I've already installed uh, 37 fonts, mostly Google fonts from the internet. So now I'm just gonna drag and drop. I'm gonna have to move this actually out of my screen. I'm gonna, for a second, I'm gonna drag and drop this uh, in, there we go. And now this means that it's kind of installing the font. And now it has installed because what was 37 is now 38. And if we go down to P, we should find Paleo Hebrew. There it is. And you can see this is a pretty common version of Paleo Hebrew. And we can actually go through it character by character to see all the different glyphs. Now, I used to know how to read this pretty well, but I've got a bit rusty. I do know that that's a Dalit. Uh, and Raish looks actually quite similar to Dalit. In any event, uh, this is Raish here, because I know my initials in Hebrew, Daniel Rosal, are DR. This one... And then this one, the letters are very similar. Much as they are similar in modern Hebrew, they're just different looking in the Paleo font. So now this, this is installed onto my operating system. Uh, I can load up any program and it should be there. So for today's graphic, I'm going to be opening up GIMP, which is a open source image editor. So let's open up that and see if we can find our Paleo font. Okay, so just to demonstrate something I might want to do in GIMP, this is kind of a template I use sometimes when I'm designing um, lower thirds for my YouTube videos. I just create a, a transparent 1920 by 1080 pixel sized canvas, 
drop in a bit of foreground in a color and then I write something. So this is just purely for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna just type a few random letters and then I'm gonna go into my text option here and I'm gonna have to do a little bit of scrolling to get up to P, element of P, oops, I just passed it there. And there we go, Paleo Hebrew. So now it's gonna automatically convert uh, attempt to match the Unicode characters. In other words, whatever is mapped onto S is gonna to change to that character in Paleo. And whatever is attached to D is going to attach is going to map onto that character. Um, and there's a keyboard map as well, which you can call up if you want to see. So for instance, this is the Dalit, and it's actually matched onto, I think, where the Dalit is on the regular uh, keyboard. This is the Dalit character I've been entering four times there. And yep, yeah, there we go. Reish is actually where Ray, Reish is on the modern Hebrew keyboard. It's going to say Ray. So this is uh, Dalit, Dalit, as they'd say in Paleo Hebrew. And this is Reish in paleo characters and of course this is just one image program i'm using gimp uh you can also use on um, open source world and linux uh in inkscape for creating vectors uh vector based images which can be scaled up to huge sizes when you're printing without uh, loss in quality size if you're interested in the very niche but interesting world of paleo hebrew i hope this uh, video has been useful to you if you want to get more videos from me about Linux technology, Paleo Hebrew, Indian food, and a lot of other random topics, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.